right, today we're going to be doing illustrative math, grade five, unit two, lesson 12, decompose area. So today we're going to, our learning goal is to decompose rectangles to find their area. So first we're gonna talk about partial products in a number talk. We're gonna find the value of each expression mentally. Three times 20. Well, I know that. 3 times 2 is 6, so 3 times 20 is going to be 60. Okay, for this one, I'm going to decompose again. I know that 3 times 20 is 60 because I did that from the previous problem. So 3 times 20 is 60, and 3 times 4 is 12. So here's my 24, right? So I'm going to add those two together and get 72. 5 times 2, we know that that's 10, and I just know that fact. 5 times 2 and a half. So um, maybe I could use the same strategy I did here of decomposing, right? I decompose 20 and 4. So let's try that here. So 5 times 2 is 10, and then 5 times 1 half is 5 over 2, and I remember that from a previous lesson, that's 2 and a half, and then I add that, 10 plus 2 and a half is 12 and a half. All right. Very good. Let's move on to our first activity. Noah's garden is five yards by six and a quarter yards. Priya's garden is six yards by five and a quarter yards. Whose garden do you think is larger? Whose garden do you think is larger and why? We're going to draw these diagrams of each garden and determine the, which garden has the larger area. So we're going to prove it. Okay, so here's Noah's garden. It's five by six and a fourth. So let's draw that in here. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to color in these five. All right, five here by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five by six, color all that in, or shade that in right there, there we go. And then we have a fourth. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so a fourth. We're gonna pretend that that looks a little bit cleaner than it really does. So six and one fourth. And then Priya's garden is six by five and a fourth. So one, two, three, four, five and a fourth. So we're gonna do a fourth like that. And this will be one, two, and this will be the five. So we can shade that in. So this is five and one fourth. One, two, three, four, five, six over here like that. All right, so which one is a bigger shaded area? It's still hard to tell, isn't it? It's still hard to tell. So who, whose garden covers a larger area? Well, I think Priya's garden covers more area because she has one-fourth of a square unit more than Noah, right? So this is going to be 30 plus 5 one-fourths. And this is going to be 30 plus 6 one-fourths. So I think that Priya's is going to be larger by just one-fourth. It's hard to tell from my drawings, but that's the way I'm thinking about it. Okay. Oh, and here we have some equations to help us think about it. How are these expressions the same? And how are they different? Expressions, not equations. So how are they the same? Well, we had five times six, 
plus 5 times 1 fourth on this side. And then we had 6 times 5 and then 6 times 1 fourth on this side. So we decomposed the number with the fraction and multiplied the other times both of them. How can we determine which garden is larger without evaluating the expressions? Again, this is going to be 30, and this is going to be 5 1 fourths. And over here we have 30, and this is going to be 6 1 fourths. So this is going to be the larger garden. All right. So this would be some partner work that you would do in, in your class. You're going to decide who will be partner A and who will be partner B. You'll look at how some of the students started a problem and how they could finish their work. Then you'll share your work with your partner. So of course, I don't have any partners in class right now, so I'm going to do it all. <laughs> so each problem shows the first step a student used to find the area of the shaded region. Oops, sorry about that. Explain how each student could finish her work their work to find the area and show the thing your thinking on the diagram. All right. So Jada started with four times five. That would be the first step because that would tell me the area of this, right? Here's my whole number and there's my five. The second step I think that Jada should do is add a four times one half. Four times one half, right? Because we have to add in this shaded area here. So that's how I would finish it for Jada. Let's look at Priya. Priya said her first step was four times a half. So Priya said four times a half. So that means she needs to add four times five. Because we're going to have to multiply four times five and four times one half. And then Tyler, Tyler wants to be outside the box. And he said 6 times 4. Well, 6 times 4, let me erase all that, would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That would be all of these boxes, right? So 6 times 4 would be the entire large rectangle. So now I'm going to have to subtract out this piece right here. So I would subtract 4, and each of these is 1 half, minus uh, times one half. So six times four minus four times one half. So I can write those equations on the side so that we can see them clearly. Jada would be four times five plus four times one half. Priya would be four times one half plus four times five. And then Tyler, my little friend who wants to be different, he's going to be 6 times 4 minus, and then I have to subtract out this part here to get it in, right? So that's going to be 1 half 4 times, 4 times 1 half, okay? And partner B has Claire. Claire started with 10 over 2 times 4. So 10 halves times 4. 10 halves times 4. So I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 halves times 4 would be this thing here. But then I'm going to have to add in what? 1 half times 4. So 1 half times 4. Because each one of these is 1 half. And then I would get the answer. Diego started with 4 times 6, kind of like Tyler. They want to be different, 4 times 6. So again, I'm going to have to subtract out. Let me erase what I have on here. I'm going to have to subtract out this piece because if he did 4 times 6, he's doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the whole, whole enchilada, right, the whole rectangle. So I have to take this piece out. So I'm going to subtract 1 half times 4, because each of these is a half. Okay? All right. Now I'm going to look at Elena. Elena, Elena, there we go. Elena has 4 times 11. So I see that 
instead of five and a half, partner B has 11 over two. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 halves, right? And we can write that 11 over two. So Elena started with four times 11. So what should you do to get the half part? What should she do? That's interesting. Should we do four times a half again? What would give us four times 11 halves? So yeah, I think that Elena should do times, or plus, let's see, four times 11 and four times a half, plus four times a half. Would that give her what she needs? That's 44, 44 divided by two, right? Oh, I know what it is. Okay, it's four times 11 times, remember these, we saw these before, one half, that's what it is. Four times 11 times one half, right? Because this can be broken up. Absolutely. Very good. So share your responses with your friends. Did you get what I got? Did you get what she got? Did you get what he got? All right. Good thinking. What is the same and what is the difference between the two diagrams? What, which student strategy do you prefer? Well, the difference was one had 11 over 2 on the one side and the other had 5 and a half. I think I prefer 5 and a half. I can see it a little bit easier for me. Today we tried several different strategies for decomposing rectangles with fractional link side lengths to find the area of the rectangle. How can we describe the strategies we use today? Well, we can, oops, went too far. We can decompose. Man, I am messing this up. There we go. One more. There we go. Pen. There we go. We can decompose. The rectangle into two smaller rectangles. and add the areas, and add the areas. We can find the area of the larger rectangle and subtract the smaller one. Find the area of the whole enchilada, right? Of the, find the area of the larger, larger rectangle and subtract the unshaded region or the smaller rectangle. Okay, so those are two ways that we could do it, right? We can decompose it by using, remember we can take that five away from that half and multiply by each one and then add those products together. Or we could find the area of the entire enchilada and subtract from the smaller rectangle that's not shaded. All right, now we can move on to our cool down. Find the area of the shaded region. So I have lots of strategies I can think of to use. I think I'm going to use my strategy of decomposing. So I'm going to find the area of the whole numbers first. So I know that that's 3 times 4 is 12. So this is a whole 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then I can move some things around or I can say 4 times 1 fourth, which is going to give me 4 out of 4, which is going to be 1 whole. And I can see that because I can move this piece here, move this piece here, and move this piece here, and then I have a whole one filled up. So I think that this shaded region is 13, because I have 12 here and one here, 13 square 
units. Fabulous. All right, I hope you're having a fabulous day, and I'll see you next time on the next video. Thank you.